Steel winch lines can be extremely dangerous, but there's an alternative. At one time, years ago, steel winch line was the only game in town. But not anymore. In this video, we're going to show you the pros and cons, steel versus synthetic, and show you how to spool a new synthetic line on your winch drum. There are some important precautions you need to know about if you had steel line on your drum beforehand. First thing we need to do is get the old steel cable off. First thing is we unlatch it. Then unhook it from our recovery point. Then just pull it out. Well, that was easy enough. Real quick, this is why we're switching from steel to synthetic. Pros and cons of each. The benefits of steel. It's very durable and abrasive resistant. It's not adversely affected by sunlight and typically a little cheaper than synthetic. The bad things about steel. First and foremost, the weight. For an 80 foot line, steel is around 16 pounds, synthetic is around two. That's a pretty significant difference. Because of its limited flexibility, it's pretty hard to handle. It splinters. With use, these tiny steel strands break. Getting one stuck in you is like getting a paper cut under the fingernail. Ew. <laughs> the benefits of synthetic. Like Mark said, synthetic rope is a lot lighter. It's really easy to handle and it floats. So if your buddy's stuck out in the water, you can throw it to him. I'm sorry, looks like I didn't throw it far enough. Don't worry though, it floats, just swim to it. <laughs> the bad things about synthetic. It requires a little maintenance. After a weekend or so of heavy use, when you get home, you should pull it out and wash all the mud and grit off of it. And you should let it air dry so it doesn't get moldy. Yeah, before you spool it back on. It's susceptible to abrasion, but you can protect it where it's going across the ground or rocks with a sleeve like this or even a traction board. The deciding factor though, as most of you I'm sure already know, winching can be extremely dangerous. Winch lines stretched while pulling store an incredible amount of energy. If any component of your system should happen to fail, the winch line will snap back. In that instance, a lightweight, soft synthetic line is a whole lot safer than this heavy steel cable. Now, if you're like us, switching from steel to synthetic, certain precautions need to be taken. When used under a load, steel cable makes gouges and burrs in the drum and especially the fair lead. These burrs can tear up a synthetic line. The best action is to replace your fair lead, whatever type you have, with a new one. And thoroughly clean, inspect, and smooth out any deformities or burrs on your winch drum. When you put the new fair lead on, just make sure that the line isn't going to be dragging across any sharp edges. That looks good. All right, that's on. The new line will attach to virtually any winch using the variety of hardware Masterpole sends along. For our Warren Xeon winch, it takes a little puck that holds the end of the line onto the drum. Masterpole sends along one specifically designed for this rope. Now we can spool it. But first, a little about the winch line we're about to put on. It's made in the USA by Masterpole. Type synthetic winch line in any search engine and Masterpole will be one of the first to pop up. Masterpole is the leader in innovation when it comes to synthetic lines and rigging. Their emphasis and direction is towards full synthetic rigging. Less metal involved equals safer winching. This is their new 3 8 inch classic ultralight winch line. They'll be listing it on their website soon. When they do, we'll put a link in the video description. These are the features you should be looking for. 
On the end, it has a heat resistant sleeve that protects it from the drum heat and abrasion. This will also alert you when you pulled too much rope off of the drum. It's labeled with the braking strength and diameter. This means more than what a lot of people realize. It means that this U.S. manufacturer has actually tested their product and will stand behind it. A universal drum attachment that's compatible with virtually all winches. And this protected soft eye and a plastic winch puck. Other than the small stainless pin, there's no metal on the end. The puck, as they call it, eliminates redundant hardware. So we don't need a big hook, a thimble, or a heavy end link, just a soft shackle to make that connection. Now we can start spooling the line on. At first, we're just gonna use human power as tension. Okay, for these wraps, I want them nice and tight up against each other. And make sure your hand doesn't get sucked in there. All right, that first layer is on. Now we're gonna put some more tension on it. To do that, we're gonna hook up our Forerunner. If you found this video helpful, we hope you consider subscribing to our channel. And look us up on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. If a com what was I supposed to say? If any part of your let me do this all over again. I gotta stop. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Master Pull is a leader in, in a Master Pull is the leader. <laughs> is the leader in innovation when it comes to synthetic lines and something. Don't look too cold.